Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to talk about the Mariner 9 spacecraft, which explored the planet Mars. So here it is. And here exactly is an image of Mariner 9. And it was launched on May 30th of 1971. And this was the very first spacecraft to orbit another planet. And that was the planet Mars. It reached Mars in November of 1971. So just a few months after it was launched. And its mission was to be able to map over 70% of the surface at its highest resolution and to search for volcanic activity. Now we now know that Mars has had volcanic activity in the past, although there are the volcanoes are not currently active. But at the time we did not know. So that was something we were looking for. Well, what were the achievements of this? Well, let's take a look at some of those. And in fact, after one year, it was able to map 85% of the surface. So exceeding the expectations, which were 70%, it was able to map the vast majority of the surface of Mars. It discovered extinct volcanoes such as Olympus Mons seen here. And this is an image of it from the Mariner 9 craft when that flew over it. And we can see this massive volcano here with the very large caldera at the top and then the slopes going downward. It also found great canyons in Valles Marineris as pictured here and we're looking here at the very edge of Valles Marineris near the volcanic region. But it is a great canyon and possibly a tectonic feature stretching across this surface of Mars. And in fact it is a large enough that it would stretch from one end of the United States to the other. So say from Washington DC to San Francisco to give you an idea of sense of how large this is. And it may have been one of those tectonic features, something that started plate tectonics, but never really kicked in because Mars is significantly smaller than Earth. And it may have cooled off quicker, which explains why it was not able to hold on to an atmosphere the way that Earth was. So this is Valles Marineris. And if you recognize the name there, that is actually named after the Mariner spacecraft that discovered it. Now also seen were riverbeds and here we have an image of one of those here and rivers mean that there was flowing water on Mars in the past. Now Mars no longer has flowing water. It does not have enough atmospheric pressure nor a high enough temperature to really be able to keep water in a liquid phase. It has water in gaseous form or it has water in a solid form. So on Mars, water is essentially a dry ice. And much like we do with frozen carbon dioxide here on Earth, it goes from a solid state directly to a gaseous state with the temperatures and pressures currently on Mars that happens to water there as well. However, in the past, Mars would have had a thicker atmosphere and would have been able to have liquid water. And Mariner 9 gave us the first evidence by showing us things like riverbeds on the surface of Mars. Now, these have been confirmed and verified by other craft which have since explored Mars, including the more recent Mars rovers. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit at what we looked at with the Mariner 9 craft. First of all, Mariner 9 was the first spacecraft to orbit another planet. And it was able to map much of the surface of Mars. And if you recall, that was about 85% of the surface of Mars that it was able to map, exceeding the expectations that were there. And it discovered things like volcanoes, canyons, and riverbeds on the surface of Mars. So that concludes this discussion of the Mariner 9 exploration of Mars. We'll be back again next week for another exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.